Hey, yeah. last thing real quick, just since, you know, you did play fullback and, and since you're talking about oversized, well, let's say people, uh, Miles Garrett uh, is going to be sitting over there as defensive end this week. If you were playing fullback or I guess maybe more appropriately because there aren't enough fullbacks anymore, if you were if you were the coordinator kind of thinking through what to do, how, how are you handling Miles Garrett? Um. Boy, that's great, a, great that's a good answer. Word. I think that probably sums <laughs> yeah. it up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I've watched I've watched uh, three games with him, um, and you know I think one of the most effective ones was. But you have to ask. You have to execute this because Indianapolis had an opportunity to do it. They put the tight end on him. He breezed him. Then the right tackle threw one arm at him. I mean, if you're if you're going to commit two guys to him, make sure those two guys do their job. But I, but I think that's what you have to do. But unfortunately. Um, you know, every once in a while, you know, those tackles are going to have to stand on their own two feet. and They're going to have to block him one on one, but you can't do that all the time. Um, but I, I have never really seen anybody have a game like he had last weekend. Um, you know, there's, you know, guys that have had the four sack games. You know, we saw Khalil Mack have six. You know, I remember when Derek, um, oh, God, I'm going Derek, Derek Thomas, Kansas City. Yep. Derek Thomas did seven. Um, I mean, those are, those are, you know, great games but you know it, it's it's the sack i mean two sack fumbles nine tackles um the, the blocked extra point a defended a defended pass which you know i'm you know, as athletic as he is you're, you're shocked that he did one hand that and just take it the other way for a pick six yeah. um i i think the athleticism with miles garrett is is what makes him unique uh and, and listen I've, I've had pittsburgh twice this year tj watt made a play last week in the rams game that we did, uh, you know, he drops in coverage. He reads Matthew Stafford's eyes and comes off and, and, and picks the return route. Um, and then as athletic as he was going, you know, towards the goal line, uh, you know, it was, it was amazing to watch that. And then to, to watch the highlights of what Miles Garrett did, um, you know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. He just, you have to understand, he's going to make his plays during the game. Do not allow them to be game-changing plays the way that that Indianapolis did. That that that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, you know, when we played Reggie White, when we played Lawrence Taylor, um, they're going to make their plays. Just don't let it be a game-changing play uh, because you're never going to shut them out. You're never going to shut a guy like Miles Garrett out for the entire game. Um, so just don't let it be one of those plays that that just destroys it. Moose, next time I would love to have you on and just talk about the ninety. I'd like to just have a Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White, fullbacks from that era conversation, but obviously we don't have all that much time for it today. <laughs> that, was the goal that, that was I'm talking, it was the greatest day for fullbacks. The nineties was the greatest decade for yep. fullbacks. I don't know. Anybody. Uh, honestly, this uh, is, there this... were different types of them. There was the Larry Centers, the Mike Allstotts, the Lorenzo Neals. Uh, you know, just a number of different styles to the position it was it was fantastic it was 10 years of of, of great play yeah we this this could go on for a while all right we gotta run (laughs) we did get a text that said that that you might have had to build your house around the pads (laughs) that the pads went in first and they just put the whole house around it Everybody would say, you know, you're 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 not, you know, you you got to get faster. And I said, it's it's the shoulder pads. Right. You know, they're they're dra- they're like sails, they're right. like drags. You know, they pull me down. Yes, it's when I'm running. I, I think Barry Sanders had the same problem. All right, <laughs> yeah. we got to run. Thank you, Moose. We appreciate it. Have fun at the game on Sunday. We'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Always great to talk to you. Thanks, Brock. I appreciate it. Thank you, Moose. You're the best. There man. is Daryl Moose Johnson.